Hello and welcome back to another review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week we've got something new, something unopened which I was able to pick up at a good price. I have tried it but I've not sat down in this kind of environment and really broke it down. I do remember enjoying it at the time so I thought I need to get my hands on a bottle. So this is the Thompson Brothers TBBSW. So TB standing for Thompson Brothers and then the V slash for BSW which is blended Scotch whisky. This is aged for over six years. It is 46% ABV, natural colour, non-chill filtered. And it was £32, I think, or £34. So we'll get it open, first of all, and we'll go through some of the facts to find out who are Thompson Brothers. And then um, we should probably put them up, throw rubbish on the floor. So who are the Thompson Brothers? <clears throat> and what is this? Nice wee pop. So Thompson Brothers is new distillery, 2016 founded uh, Dornock Castle Hotel. The back of that is an old fire station. The Thompson Brothers have taken over. I think their family actually own the hotel and the bar within. It's got a lot of old whiskies from the 60s and 70s. Simon and Phil Thompson, the brothers, um, they think they're second generation, went on a quest and thought we need to make our own whiskey. They're passionate about it, they love what they do. And they've took over the um, the old fire station behind the hotel. Just, I think it's, I had to write it down here, where is it? 47 square metres in total, so it's nothing, it's tiny. They started out with the future in mind, a passion about whiskey. Making gin first, they started a, a, a kind of crowdfunding. Uh, you started out with crowdfunding to get the distillery into the hands and people really got behind it. They started selling gin, making gin, and that's flew off the shelves. And now they've had, they need to expand, they're that big. They do have their single malt out, unbelievably difficult to get your hands on. I have been lucky enough to try the first ever edition. I think one of my local bars had it and I really enjoyed it. I think the the balance of everything was really, really good. It would be great to get my hands on a bottle, but I think it's, looking at the secondary market, it's crazy money. So I need to just kind of back off just now. But they brought this out. Their labelling I find is absolutely amazing. I love the labelling that they do. And this here is just quite simplistic. Couple of little jugs on there for the scientific approach, a pot still, blended Scotch whiskey. So when we look at it, it's blended Scotch whiskey, it's not blended malt. So there is a different type of grain in there. I was trying to find information about the breakdown of this. And from looking online and everything, third hand information which i've been able to see is this is teaspooned macallan they've i think they've been sold or what i can see what has been picked up is they've been sold a cask um which was macallan accidentally which was teaspooned with what we can believe i think is famous grouse from edrington at the time maybe a little bit of highland park in there but majority is what i've seen online a few people saying is 99 percent of this is macallan and then the 1% teaspoon is our friend of the famous grouse, I believe. So on the back it just says a blended Scotch whiskey compromised of single malt and single grain. It has sherry cast matured from, I'm sure it tells me on here again, about the makeup of it. I did see it or I did have it somewhere. So it's a sherry maturation. So you can see by the colour, hopefully you can see that. So we're looking at potentially McAllen, we're looking at a blended Scotch whiskey, a £34, six years old, 46% non-chill filter. It ticks a lot of boxes. Let's get it on the nose, let's get it on the palate, let's find out is it going to live up to what I remember as the, the last time I had it. So on the nose it's quite... Um, jam, raspberry, blackcurrant jam, milk chocolate, kind of popuri. That again, if, there's some whiskies that I do get a kind of popuri hit um, and this is kind of one of them. Nice sherry notes. Yeah, it's kind of 
black currant jam, milk chocolate, papuri, a slight floral note. It's really nice in the nose. Let's try this on the palate. Let's see what it does there, see if we get any different notes from it. As long as you're going. Legs on it are brilliant too. It's a lot of spice there. A little bit of maltiness, I would say, more than, than grain, which would believe to be as more as a higher concentration of malt than it is grain. I think the youngness gets taken away by the sherry cask, the maturation. Oily. It is kind of black currant, black cherry note, but more the kind of jammy side of it, not right, that it's softer, it's got that sweeter note to it, a little bit of spice, oily, papuri, Tiny bit of spice at the end, not too much. Really good mouthfeel. As that nice oily goes down very, very easily. So I've got a little bit of water here. I know it's only 46%, but because it's my kind of first time trying, I thought, why not add a few splashes of water just to see if it's going to change anything for me. Rinse the palate. So the only thing is, I did phone, they wouldn't tell me, I did phone Thompson Brothers uh, facility just to ask the question, but nothing was really given away, which is fair enough. It's something that in the pipeline, potentially it could be McAllen. So I don't think they want to make a song and dance about it, if it is, because it'll, everyone will just go nuts for it. Again, which is fair enough. I have just noticed there is a QR code on here and I've not scanned it yet, so I'm hoping that's not going to tell me everything um, on there. <laughs> But I think it's amazing that the colour of it, natural colour, non-chill filtered, is for the price, is unbelievable. The quality so far is really, really good. It's Parma Violet now. With that little bit of water, total Parma Violet over, uh, over here now. A more strawberry powder, like a strawberry milkshake powder. Coming through. So Parma Violet Strawberry Milkshake Powder now with that little bit of water just bringing it through. And it's still got that kind of floral papuri hit to it. There's a lot going on for something so young. A little bit of spice still stays there, not over spice, it's just a, a little bit softer, kind of more black peppery, a little bit of sweetness falling, chewy again. It's a really good whiskey. That price point, age, non gel filtered, natural colour, 46%, blended scotch whiskey believed to be majority malt but we, we really don't know and to an extent I'm quite happy that I really don't know I think because drinking this and really not knowing what it is but I know I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying my first sip of this and I'm expecting it to get better I know some whiskies you can have the first dram and it's not the best it's not it's not opened up but I think because it's young it's not got this kind of old bottle effect of being there sitting in a bottle for a while I've enjoyed this 
and I think it's a one I would maybe try and get myself another bottle. I think this is an easy sipping, easy to go to, especially Christmas time dram. That sherry, it's, it's not that sticky, overly sweet sherry whiskey. It's a nice, proportionate, balanced, blended Scotch whiskey. I think Thompson Brothers have done a fantastic job here. I think their branding is amazing for how small they are, but how big they see their future to be. It's uh, something that I will get behind. It is difficult to get the bottles, but another thing that the Thompson Brothers do well is that they ballot everything. It's fair. Um, I am totally behind that, and it is disappointing when you don't get a bottle, but again, the fairness goes into a ballot. Your name's in the hat, and you've got a chance of getting a bottle. I think if you're ever up there, they maybe have some on the, in the shop, if there even is a shop. I don't even know that. But it's one I'd love to go and see one day. I think it'll be great just to see how small this is to make such high quality whiskies. I've got their other bottle, I think it's the SRV, which is a station road batting, um, which I will be reviewing shortly as well. But I'm gonna go and sit back, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, maybe pour another wee dram of it just to get to know it a little bit more. But this is really good. Price point ticks every box. This is one Christmas gift I think would be good as well. And I wouldn't mind if I got another one for Christmas because it means it would sit on the shelf I won't be too scared to finish this. I don't think we'll see this again. I don't think we'll see a seven-year-old. As I say, by looking up, it's been a happy accident. Potentially, they've been able to take their hands on a quality cask of potentially Macallan and a teaspoon of Highland Park. Eh, not Highland Park. Famous Grouse has been put in there, and we now have this. But we'll never know, unless I can uh, ask the right questions to the right people one day. We might get the information, but for now... But in the unknown, and we're just kind of guessing what it might be. But I'm going to go and finish this. I'm going to sit back. Review number two of the week as well, which is quite rare. Um, so thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. If you've not done so already, hit that subscribe button. I'll get another video out for next week as well. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Gantle Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Cheers.